Hey guys, Jamin PC Monkey here, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video. I have a Lenovo laptop on me, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 onto this laptop uh, using install media. Uh, this is good if you've just installed a new hard drive onto your computer with no operating system, or if for some reason your operating system's not working or your computer is not loading, uh, you can use install media to install Windows 10 onto your computer. Uh, this install media I created myself directly from Microsoft for free. Uh, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to create this for yourself. Uh, if you want to purchase your install media instead, uh, just make sure that when you're purchasing it, it's install media and not recovery media. Um, some sellers mislabel uh, either intentionally or not uh, the items they're selling, and you can't install a new version of Windows with recovery media. Uh, so make sure it's install media again. If your computer is working and the operating system is loading and you're just looking to upgrade to Windows 10, then you may not need install media. You may be able to just, again, use the video link below in the description. Uh, and instead of clicking on the option to create this, you're gonna click on the option above to just upgrade to Windows 10. And then that upgrades your current computer. But in this video, again, I'm showing you how to use install media to put Windows 10 on your computer. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut down the computer and uh, show you how to access your setup options to use this. So when your computer is off, you're gonna take your install media, plug it into the USB port, you're gonna hit power and start tapping on F12 right away. This brings up your boot options. Right now, Windows Boot Manager is selected. We're gonna scroll down to USB device SanDisk. So I use my arrow keys. You may be able to use your mouse, your arrow keys, or your tab. But I scroll down to USB device and hit enter. So this is the first screen you'll see. Uh, I have all mine preset English, English, US. Change yours as needed. Again, at this stage, you may have use of your mouse. I do not, as you can see here, I'm, it's not moving. So I'm gonna use my tab key to tab over to next and hit enter. And then install now. I'm gonna tab, install now. So this is a fairly long process depending on your computer and its specs. This could take quite a while. Uh, so I'll keep this video running the entire course through um, and I'll show you all the options and I'll fast forward the parts where it's just loading uh, so you know what to expect when you're doing this. So this is the next window you'll see. I'm at, I actually plugged in a USB mouse because using a mouse is much easier. Uh, so I'm gonna hit accept and next. Now I'm gonna do a custom install. This is bottom option. We're installing Windows new. So I'm gonna do the custom install here. Uh, if you want to save your files, if for some reason you haven't backed up your files and you're looking to possibly save some data, you would wanna choose this one. But for our purposes in this video, I'm gonna choose the advanced lower option, uh, a completely new install. So click on that. Now you're gonna see a list of partitions here. You may have more than I have, you may have less. We're gonna click on each one individually and delete it. So one at a time, click on all the partitions, delete them. We're doing a fresh install, getting rid of everything on the hard drive. This is good for viruses or if you uh, purchased a, a hard drive for your computer. Right, but now we have unallocated space is the only option left, no more partitions. So now that that's our only option, we're gonna hit next. And now it starts downloading. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of what? So I just went ahead and muted that. Um, that's an audio assist. She'll walk you through all the questions. And if you have a mic on your computer, you can just say yes or no to the questions. Uh, but we're gonna use our, our, our mouse, it's, it's a little faster. Uh, so now the install process has started. There's gonna be a series of options uh, and things for you to choose. So I'll take you through this now. All right, it's still loading up, hang on one sec. Okay, so you select your country, it pre-fills here, hit yes. It's asking your keyboard layout, again, I'm going US, hit next. I don't need a second keyboard layout, uh, this is where you would choose that. So you would add a layout here, a secondary layout, or in my case, I'm going to skip because I don't want a second one. Now this option is where you choose a Wi-Fi network to help in the setup. So this is the first choice that I want to point something out. If you select the network here, it'll help you in your setup. However, uh, what most likely is going to happen is it's going to ask you and force you uh, to sign into your Microsoft account. 
And if you don't have one, it's going to force you to create a Microsoft account. And there will be no option to skip that step and not do it. I don't, I don't have a Microsoft account and I don't like being forced to make an account that I don't want to make. So the way around that, if, if you care like I do, is you would select you don't have Wi-Fi and you would continue set up without signing into a Wi-Fi network. If you don't care and you want to sign into your Microsoft account, by all means, choose a Wi-Fi network and that option will come up later. Uh, but again, if you don't want that option, skip this step, select you don't have a Wi-Fi account, and then we'll move on. And down here on the bottom left, I don't have internet. It's going to uh, double check with me and let me know all the reasons why I should sign in. But I'm going to, again, down here on the left, continue with limited setup. No Wi-Fi. So here's your opportunity to name your computer or name who's going to be using it. So if you want a password, this is where you would enter it. I'm just doing this for the video, so I'm not going to enter one. I'm going to hit next, and that just skips by the password part. Now again, I don't like giving my data to people who aren't paying for it or when I don't know where, where it's going to be used. So this is authorizing a ton of data to be sent to Microsoft. Uh, I'm, I just deselect all of these. Location data, usage, diagnostic data. I don't like giving my data to people. Um, if you don't care, leave them selected as yes. They're not going to hurt you. Uh, but I don't usually like doing that. So I unselect all of them. And then bottom right, I'll hit accept. Same thing goes here. Uh, I'm not going to sign up for this, so I'm going to hit no. You can select yes if, if you wish. And then right here, this is giving Cortana access to some of your personal information. I, again, am hitting not now, uh, but if you want to hit accept, you, you can also do that on the bottom right. So as you can see, Windows 10 is installed. The bulk of the work is done. However, a couple things to point out. One, if you were like me, um, and you didn't sign up to Wi-Fi right away, that, that means you're not on Wi-Fi right now. Um, it's just a brand new copy of Windows 10, and at this point, Windows 10 has been out for a long time. Uh, there's a lot of updates, driver security, operating, there's a lot of updates you gotta run, and you need Wi-Fi to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is get on a Wi-Fi, and I'll show you how to do that now. So this is a brand new copy of Windows 10, which means down here in the right-hand corner, where your Wi-Fi icon usually is, it may not be there. As you can see here, I have no Wi-Fi icon, which is, which is where a lot of people go to sign up into Wi-Fi. That will populate, but it may take quite a while. So what I would prefer is go down here to the search bar and type in Wi-Fi. That brings up your Wi-Fi settings. Click on that. So Wi-Fi is on, show available networks. And this is where you would sign on to your Wi-Fi network. So once you're on a Wi-Fi network, you can go ahead and shut this down. And now you want to get those updates going. So go into your search bar here, type in updates. And right here, check for update system settings. Click on that. It, it will always say this, no updates available. It, it will usually always say that when you go in here. Never believe it. Um, there'll always be a button here, check for updates. You want to always click on that to make sure you're running any updates possible because this is not live. Um, so we're going to hit check for updates and most likely you're going to see a ton of updates populate here. Yeah, see, so you have a ton of updates. Uh, they're already going 36%. That one's flying and you got a ton of updates uh, going here. Sometimes they won't start on their own. You'll have to scroll down to the bottom of the list and click on uh, a button here sometimes to start updates. Um, but usually they'll start by themselves if you're in a newer computer. Now the update process may take quite a while. Again, you have a ton of updates to do. There'll be another video link below in the description, a full video on how to process the updates for your computer. Uh, check that out because there are some tips and hints uh, to go along to make sure all the updates process. You may have to restart a few times and there are some things you have to look out for. So again, the video link below in the description specifically on running updates in a Windows 10 computer. The other thing I wanted to point out in addition to the Wi-Fi and the updates you need to do, the second thing was many of you, if you've installed Windows 10 before, uh, you'll notice it didn't ask me for the product ID key or the Windows product ID. It didn't ask me for that in the install process. Uh, some of you, it may have asked you, or some of you like me, it didn't. Um, either one of two things will happen. Either it'll automatically pull the Windows product ID from your computer, which is usually the case on newer computers, uh, or it, it will ask you for it. Now, it's a lot easier to hit skip. I don't have it, just like we did Wi-Fi. Skip it, act like you don't have it, 
the install process will finish, and then you can check afterward to see if it's automatically downloaded from your computer or not. And I'll show you how to check that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. Now to check on whether your Windows is activated or not, which means the product ID was entered, you're gonna come down here to your Windows File Manager. You're gonna click on this PC. You're gonna right click on it and hit Properties. Then we're gonna scroll all the way down here to Windows Activation. And as you can see here, it says Windows is activated. If it says anything other than Windows is activated, it could say Windows is not activated or Windows needs to be act activated. If it says anything like that, it means it didn't pull it automatically from your computer and you've got to manually enter it. Click the option on the right for change product key. And if you have an older computer, the product key may be on the bottom of your computer on a sticker. If you have a newer computer like this, it should have pulled it from the motherboard. If it didn't, you have to purchase one. Uh, so you'd go online and you'd buy one of those, but that's where you'd enter it is you'd click on change product key and that's when you would enter that product key in. Windows 10 should be good. If you have any questions on this process, uh, if you have any comments or something didn't look right to you, leave me a comment below. Uh, also check out the frequently asked questions in the description. If I see people asking the same question over and over again, uh, I'll put them down there with the answer. It could save you time. Uh, like and share if this is helpful. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys.